Scorpio, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your general monthly money and career tarot reading for the month of February 2021. And uh, I do want to take this moment to thank you for liking this video and leaving me a comment, of course, about your individual situation. And if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button for me and that little notification bell. Now, I meditated on your energy overall for the month, of course, in regards to the subject. And the message that came through was your way pays off. Your way pays off. So let's get started. We're going to begin by pulling a couple messages from the Energy Oracle deck. And uh, while I do some shuffling, keep in mind this is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't for somebody else. To begin, Spirit, thank you for our lovely Scorpios. February 2021, money and career. Perfect. That was easy. Ooh, and victory at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you have nothing but victory ahead for you. Um, because you're doing things your way, because you're staying true to who you are. You're not sort of trying to blend in or go uh, with the crowd. Nice. Let's see what else we have here. All right, we have broken heart in the thinking woman. I feel the broken heart's coming out because you're thinking about past uh, career choices or financial situations, financial choices, uh, jobs that kind of left you feeling wounded um, or struggling to view things optimistically in your career and your financial situation. And they're saying, try to heal that wound this month. The thinking woman as well. And I mean, this isn't gender specific. It could be male or female, but um, it feels like you're definitely thinking about this heartbreak, you're thinking about these struggles you've been through. They're saying this is needed, you need to leave this in the past. Don't dwell on it. If you're thinking about it, utilize it to gather some wisdom and take that into the future um, to make better choices when it comes to the category of money and career. And also when you're sort of thinking about this a little bit this month, keep in mind that there's nothing but victory to replace all of those struggles from the past. Appreciation and uh, cornucopia. Scorpio, it feels like a month where you're going to get a lot of appreciation and recognition from whether it's co-workers, your boss, um, soul, connections, you name it. Clientele it could even be. But people just sort of see that your uniqueness, your way of approaching things is different, but it's special and it works. And it's, um, it's just you're going to find that people not only appreciate and recognize how good you are at what you do, but they people are gravitated towards you to kind of um, utilize your skill or um, whatever you have to offer. Interesting. And uh, Cornucopia talking all about uh, abundance, my friend, feeling like you have more than enough material uh, goods, if you will, enough money in the bank. And I feel like if this isn't your current state, you're going to be reminded in February that this is what you have to look forward to. But I do feel like there could be um, bits and pieces of abundance popping up this month, given that it's all paying off. Doing it your way, my friend. All right, let's continue. We're going to pull six tarot cards. Simple six card spread, if you will. For our lovely Scorpios to continue this monthly money and career read. Thank you, Spirit. And we're going to pull the last three from the top. That was pretty easy. All righty, my friend. So we're starting off with the Emperor card. Ooh, King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Nice. As well as the Sun card. You have, you're going to be left this month feeling, um, as a result of a few different things, but feeling quite confident, manifesting that financial success. Uh, co-creating with your guide and uh, your guides, um, leaving you feeling ecstatic, happy, reminding you that you have nothing but abundance and happiness ahead for you. So keep shining, my friend, shining that individuality because your way is paying off. To say the least. Nice. All right. Let's continue. We're going to, um, so we have the Emperor card. 
So you start the month of February feeling um, good, feeling good about yourself, your situation. Maybe you got some recognition and appreciation towards the end of um, January. By the way, you're starting the month of uh, February feeling very strong and planning for your future analytically. You know, thinking very thoroughly about what your next steps are with your job, with your business, with, you know, where you're going to invest your finances moving forward or even budgeting. Being side by side with this appreciation card, they're saying, yep, all of that um, appreciation recognition that was coming in towards the end of January or at the beginning, very beginning of the month was to kind of set you up in the right mindset, the right mood to achieve all you can this month. Excuse any noise in the background if you can hear it, Ten of Wands. And so you make your way to the middle of the um, first half of the month and you feel like you're just sort of trucking on this journey towards your success um, and abundance. But it feels a bit bland at this point, doesn't it? Feeling like the color was stripped away. Maybe between this first part of the month and the middle of the first half, um, somebody or something takes place that strips away that color. Or maybe it's your mental state. Um, they're saying, yep, it's your mental state. You need to work on keeping things positive and optimistic mentally, uh, even when you're planning. You know, it feels like we're directly after such a good thing happened. Um, it, your mental state has a lot of burdens that need to be dropped in order to make the best out of what's to come to continue to see things in a positive light. And then we have the hangman. And naturally this follows. You finish off the first half of the month feeling like you need to take a step back or push by your guides and spirit, your your guides in the universe to um, adjust your perspective on your situation, on your mental habits, realizing at this point and accepting you have more work to do, more healing, um, adjusting, if you will, to um, make the best once again out of what's to come, the success. Knight of Pentacles. And so you make your way to start the second half of the month and it feels like you're moving towards your financial comfort slowly, but surely. They're saying have patience. Don't stress yourself out. Remember that at the end of the day, you're moving and you're not stuck, you're not still. When you get into this mindset, when you stress yourself out or you have these mental habits that are burdens, that's when you're stuck. That's when this journey feels um, unenjoyable and bland. Um, but when you're moving towards your comfort, your success slowly but surely, doing what feels right to you, doing things your way, that's when you're moving towards uh, what you deserve. Feeling with the Emperor card, they're saying, keep planning for your future, keep being strategic, even when things um, move a little bit slowly than you'd like them to. Um, if you think back, the things that you appreciate the most weren't the things that you succeeded at or accomplished quickly, were they? Sometimes, you know, taking a little bit longer um, helps you enjoy and appreciate that end result at the end of the day. Being side by side with this cornucopia, they're saying, yeah, as you truck along this journey, but we're seeing, you know, that change of perspective did bring some color back to your journey, my friend, or into your journey in general, which is beautiful. But essentially you're being told that, keep in mind as things move slowly, as you move slowly towards what you deserve, that there's um, abundance and success and you're going to have plenty. Do not worry. The High Priestess. And so you make your way to the middle of the second half of the month and you're feeling very intuitive. Um, Major Arcana, all about change and adjustments as well as the Emperor card and the Hangman. So we have three. Half of your spread is Major Arcana's big change, adjustments, uh, moving towards better and brighter days. And being aligned with this Ten of Wands, Remind yourself when your intuition's um, snowballing at this point in the month, when you're feeling very connected to spirit and the universe, that this amount of color is where you're heading. Is what you're, it's why you're dropping these burdens to sort of bring this color back to your life, to feel more at ease, to feel less um, anxious along this journey to success. And uh, to finish off the month and the spread, we have the Page of Pentacles. So you finish off the month of February feeling quite um, somber, maybe a little bit um, uneasy about where things are heading, not having all the answers, but they're saying, also feeling like you kind of have to balance things out for yourself financially, career-wise, having a lot going on. 
But again, being along with the hangman, I feel like you just need to once again adjust your perspective um, in order to move into March and April with again a, a positive, bright outlook, realizing that your way is paying off, your uniqueness is attracting all of this abundance and, and whatnot to you. Because remember how effective that adjustment was uh, just simply to your perspective on things, on your situation. Uh, the Soul's Journey deck for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Excuse my voice. Keep in mind, my friend, that any obstacles that you have been overcoming, or have been facing, and will moving forward are for the better of your situation. They're to um, help you grow and become stronger and to learn from what you've been through to make the best out of what's ahead. And then um, judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Yep. So make sure this month, my friend, you're not comparing yourself and your situation, your progress, your struggles, if you will. Um, that you've dealt with to anybody else. You don't know what they've been through. And that's not the point. You're on your own journey that you're bringing color back to, that you're um, trying to enjoy a little bit more. And the third one is service. I feel good when I can help others. Absolutely. So Scorpio, get in that mindset where you ask yourself, how can I help other people? And you'll see even more abundance flow your way. We're going to finish off by pulling a couple messages from the Small Making Magic deck. Our lovely Scorpios to finish off this reading. Thank you, Spirit. Perfect. We got two. First one, perseverance, the motivation to keep going despite the odds. Yeah. Any of these adversities, these obstacles, these challenges, don't you dare stop. Keep going, my friend. Because at the end of the day, ooh, nice last uh, final note. Little luxuries generates luxurious experiences and surroundings. So it feels like... Um, Spirit and the universe will kind of trickle in some little luxuries, some um, nice rewards, if you will, to help you um, see what's ahead, to remind you once again that your uh, way uh, of doing things, of approaching your career, your financial situation, it's paying off, my friend. So Scorpio, I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, and do subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have the most amazing month, and I'll see you next time. Bye.